sometimes it's easy to confuse peat and smoke in whiskey. So today we're gonna to explore the difference between peat and smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, welcome to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society Australian YouTube channel. I encourage you to please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. There's so much to learn on our channel about whiskey and about the society in general. Today, I'm gonna to touch on the differences between peat and smoke in whiskies. People often say, oh, I like a peaty whiskey. And some people who might hear say, I like a smoky whiskey. They are different. And different whiskies made at different distilleries using different peat and using different production methods will often produce sometimes a peaty whiskey or a smoky whiskey. I've actually got one example of each in front of me which are recent releases from the society. They're both single cask, they're both cask strength and they're both peated whiskies. Uh, one is lightly peated and one is peated. Uh, so one is a 66.192, the Dalai Farmer, and one is 29.282, massive aniseed heat and searing peat. I'm gonna discuss both of these. I'm sitting upstairs at the Melbourne Whiskey Room upstairs from Whiskey and Almond to talk to you about these today. Whiskies that are described as peaty are often uh, quite medicinal uh, and can be a bit sort of boggy and damp-like, some sort of wet cardboard notes, some vegetal notes, some sort of almost uh, brothy vegetal notes out of peated whiskies. They might be distilleries you know as Laphroaig or spirits you know as Port Charlotte or even Ardbeg. Um, however, some whiskies you might taste are almost smoky. Now a smoky whiskey presents itself a bit differently from just a peaty whiskey. Uh, a smoky whiskey can often be a bit sort of ashy, like dry cigar ash, um, and almost sort of like, um, like salted sort of like salted seafood kind of notes, like smoky seafood. So that's more sort of like sometimes bonfire smoke, smoky seafood, and cigar ash are those kind of notes you get out of a smoky whiskey. And I think it's much more apparent uh, on the palate and the finish of a whiskey than it is on the nose. Sometimes when nosing a peaty or smoky whiskey, they just smell like peated whiskies. You say, oh, it's a peated whiskey. There's obviously a lot of peat used in the production of that whiskey to make it for a peated whiskey. Uh, however, you'll often taste, the taste and the finish will often present themselves much more as peaty or smoky. So I think in this case, I'm gonna go with the 66.192 because I would call this a smoky whiskey. Uh, this whiskey has, I, I'm, I regret to tell you, has already sold out, but we do often get some great 66s through the society and some great peated whiskies from actually all around the world. Even on the nose, it presents itself as quite an ashy, smoky whiskey. All these compounds, all these phenols that come from different aspects of phenols to create these flavors present themselves differently based on the distillery, based on the cask type, based on the spirit. It's quite ashy, like tobacco leaf and definitely smoky. Think of that sort of bonfire smoke character. Very evident on the finish that it is a smoky whiskey, but not necessarily a very heavily peated one. So just something to be aware of when talking about the differences between peat and smoke. Sometimes it can mean a whiskey that's a, got that boggy, medicinal, TCP, bandages kind of note, which some people love. I'll be honest, I prefer the more sort of smoky style whiskies, And they might be codes at the society, like some of our 29s, but 66s, even, um, Peated 129s, 127s, things like that. There'll be different codes that you see through, but instead of focusing on codes, even I can't remember all the codes, I encourage members to focus on the flavor profiles. Look at lightly peated, peated, heavily peated, and read the tasting notes. Some of them will mention things like bandages or uh, medicinal, and some will mention things like bonfires and, and um, fresh seafood. So that would be something like that to be aware of. On this one, it says a tight rep between Undulating fragrant herbs, that would be something that's almost a smoky note. Assertive metallic peat, compelling, deceptively complex, and wonderfully savory. Everything you look for in a nice whiskey. I'm Matt Bailey, thank you so much for learning a little bit about the differences between peat and smoke, and what to look for in each, and I hope that you found this video helpful. Cheers.